Hello, it's Mr. Thompson here again, and today I'm here to talk to you through how to round to two decimal places, and this is grade E at GCSE or level 5 at key stage 3. So let's get started with a few examples. Okay, so we are being asked in this my little question box up here um, to round 4.357 to two DP decimal places. Now, if you've watched my video uh, on the one decimal place, you will know already, uh, and it's exactly the same um, as the one decimal place, but when it says to two decimal places, that means our answer has to have two digits after the decimal point. So our answer has to have two digits after the decimal point. So the first thing I'm going to do is with my 4.357 in the question, I'm going to write it out again down here. 4.357. Okay, now what we're going to do is because we are asked for second, sorry, to two decimal places, we're going to start at the decimal place and we're going to count two numbers after the decimal place. So decimal place, one, two, two digits rather. So the three and the five. What we're going to do is after the second digit after the decimal place, I'm going to put a line down there. And that tells me we're going to find out if 4.357 is closer to 4.35 or to 4.36. So it's the same principle as rounding to one decimal place, apart from the line will go in a different spot. What we're going to do now is we're going to look at the digit that comes immediately after our line. Immediately after our line. Um, and I'm going to see that's a 7. So I'm going to look in my um, box up here, and this is something we just need to know, we need to learn. Um, we're going to round down if that second digit is a 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. Sorry, that third digit, this one here. Uh, and we're going to round up if that third digit is a 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. So we can see that's a 7, and that falls in the up column. So that means that our 4.357 is rounded up. That 7 rounds the 5 up to a, three, uh, to a 6. Um, so our answer, um, let's do that in red. Our answer is in fact 4.36. We have rounded 4.357 up to 4.36. Okay, let's do another example. Okay, so our next example is 9.1241. You'll notice this has four digits after the decimal place, so we've we've got this to four dis, uh, um, decimal places already. Um, that doesn't make a difference. The first thing I'm going to do, uh, as I did before, is write out 9.1241. Okay, uh, and now we're being asked once again to round to two decimal places. So uh, we start at the decimal point and we count one digit two digit, so this is the second digit after the decimal place uh, which obviously represents our hundredths column. After that we are going to put a line and it, we're going to use this line to decide whether this gets rounded up or rounded down. We look at the digit that comes immediately after the line and you can see that is a 4. So what we're going to do is that means that this 9.1241 is rounded down. Now that doesn't actually mean that this 2 goes down by 1. What it means is that one point, sorry, 9.1241 is closer to 9.12 than it is to 9.13. So though we say we're rounding it down, the answer is what 9.12. Okay, we'll try one more example. Okay, so the final example I'm going to run through uh, with you now is round 7.497 to 2 decimal places. Okay, so as always, we're going to write it out first, 7.497. 497 and we want that to two decimal places so I'm going to put my red line uh, once again I'm going to count my two digits after the decimal place and I'm going to put my red line down there okay now looking at the seven the number immediately after that line and using um, a little table I've drawn for you up here um, we can see that seven falls in the up column so that means that this uh, rounds excuse me this uh, thousandths column uh, is going to tell us to round the hundredths column up by one. So, as we've got uh, the seven, we'll round this up to ten. So instead of nine hundredths, we now have ten hundredths. So if you imagine that tenth hundred uh, is too big to fit in the hundredths column, so in fact, we actually round this one up, and this one will go back to a zero. So instead of 9, I've got 
uh, nine hundredths, I've got ten hundredths, but that ten hundredth actually becomes one tenth. So our answer is actually seven point five zero. Remember that we must, because our question asks for two decimal places, we must have two digits after the decimal place in our answer. OK, I hope that's been uh, very useful. Uh, if you need help with any other areas of your maths, have a look on my YouTube channel um, and see if there's a video to help. I'm always adding uh, videos up there. OK, thank you very much. Bye-bye.